A vacation ends in disaster for an Atlanta family. A young sister and brother drowned at a popular lake in South Florida. It happened Monday in Fort Myers. The girl was just 12 years old, her little brother only seven. News editor reporter Christopher King spoke to the siblings of the victims about what happened. We're very saddened by what happened. A family struggles to grasp the unthinkable. Right now we're just learning how to deal. The Walker family tells Fox 5 Gabby and her younger brother JJ went to Florida with their dad for the 4th of July weekend. All we know is that they were supposed to be on vacation. They were supposed to be at the beach. Then they got a call no family should ever have to endure. A couple hours later, I get a, I get a call and it's just like, I didn't believe it because who, who can believe something like that? What they couldn't believe, another sister told them their little sister Gabby and their little brother JJ drowned. I thought maybe, okay, maybe, you know, she was mistaken. Uh, maybe she was, she didn't know what was really going on. Maybe the, the phone was, I wasn't hearing her correctly. It all happened on Monday at a lake near Florida Gulf Coast University, just south of Fort Myers. It's a lot of confusion going on right now. The Lee County Sheriff's Office giving few details on what led to the tragedy. There's a lot of unanswered questions. The Walkers tell Fox 5, JJ went in first. Gabby jumped in to try to save her little brother. I'm hearing that she tried to save um, JJ, just shows how, just shows what type of person she is. Gabby was just absolutely heartfelt. I mean, everybody loves her. Great kids, um, smart, always, you know, into stuff, always, you know, doing good, always helping each other out. Now, instead of welcoming back their siblings from vacation, the Walkers plan for a funeral for two children who died far too young. I'm just praying to make sure that, you know, we're able to you know, put these kids to rest the right way because that's the, the that's what they deserve. Christopher King, Fox 5 News.